Hey y'all, so the last time we were here, we were checking out the creepy forest. Today we're gonna be checking out the haunted house. So I'm super excited about that. If you're new here, welcome. It is definitely a vibe on this side. I am shy in Second Life. And on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So they do have like this cute little sitting area outside. This is super nice. I love these really colorful pumpkins with it looks like like embroidery on them. That's a cute little sitting space. I really like these chairs. They are funky. They are funky. Look at this. And then it has like the little drink in there. How cute is that? So like the cushions out of tongues. I like that. That's cute. That's real cute. So this is the haunted house, you guys. So we're just gonna go on in. This is what the outside looks like. It's a nice size house. So let's see what they got going on on the inside. Haunted house, turn back now. Mm -mm. Is this something to go down? What is this? You sit on it. What does it do? Oh. Oh, okay, baby. They they start now hot. Oh no. Okay. I thought this was like some secret door that I could go down. And so, I know, the girl. Cause get up. Oh, okay. Well, that's I guess that's what I get for clicking on stuff. Okay. Well, let's go ahead on on the inside. Okay. So it's dark in here, but you can still see every little thing that you would want to see. So I do like that. Um, I have a flashlight, but I kind of felt like it would take away from um, the lighting in the space. And I still feel that way, especially now that I see that they have things um, that are lighting up the spaces anyway, like the candles and things like that. This is all lighting up this space. So although it is dark, they make, they make sure that you can still see every single thing that you need to see. So I'm very, very appreciative of that. They got the floating chairs. You know, very spooky. Very, okay, because I was going to say that doll, that doll. Because what type of crap? Here we go. Once again, I just came in here to look at these plates. And she doing the most. Girl, back up off me. Uh, 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 okay. Got the little spook. So this is a really cute, um, oh. Let me, I absolutely will not be the one doing that. I will not be the one letting you out, ma'am. So this is a cute, um, this would be nice for like couples. This would also be nice for just like a group of people to go um, along to, but also, you know, I'm enjoying it with you guys. But I also know that if uh, somebody wants to go here by themselves, they would enjoy it as well. They have this little creepy hand. I'm like, is this something else to clip on? click on? Would I be crazy enough to click on it? Yeah, I would. I would, but it's nothing to click on. So everything looks super creepy. I don't know it's something about floating things that really just like creeps me out i think all the like the a lot of the scary movies like poltergeist and movies kind of like that they'll have like all the like witchcrafty movies they'll have things floating and stuff like that so every time i kind of see things like floating i'm just like Ugh, that's a little creepy daddy is a little creepy what's on this wall some portraits what kind of portraits? Oh, okay. Well, all right. I thought they were like family, but well, I guess it is a family portrait. Okay, so we've gone around here. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. See what they got going on upstairs. It's the fact that this is a nice house and it's like, this would be a really nice house if it wasn't haunted. The layout is nice. Oh, what's going on over here? Like some Frankenstein type stuff. He's like a mad scientist. 
I suppose. I do appreciate that this space is not as well thus far. It's not as creepy as that. What was it? The creepy forest that we walked through. That was a lot. That was a lot. They 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 really been doing a big one for Halloween thus far in Second Life. I'm not mad at it at all. Some of these spaces, a flashlight wouldn't hurt. Let me throw mine on. So let's see. So yeah, a flashlight is not hurting because I was not able to see that before. Okay. Oh, what is all of this? Uh-uh. Let's go back in this room and see. I hope nobody coming here. Like she up here with this bright ass flashlight. And is. They gave it to us. Yeah, I'm not mad at this flashlight. I'm not. So there are things that we missed. But I do still like the um I like the shared environment here. I really do. And I also like that they do give you a flashlight, but they don't tell you what to use it for. And I like that because at first I thought that, okay, maybe this was like for like the corn maze that um, we saw. I'm like, well, maybe that's what, maybe that's what it will be used for is like the corn maze. But they're like, no, you use it for whatever you feel like you would need it for. Oh, look at that. I like that. And it doesn't, ooh, hold on. Oh, God. That's the heat. I, you know, I be forgetting to do my little heat disclaimer, but that's that's what it is. So, you know, it is what it is. He looks creepy. Very creepy. Yeah, some of my favorite creepy movies are the, um, the Netflix movies, the Netflix original movies. Netflix original movies. They watch like um, Lifetime movies. I I don't think I've ever seen. They saw some Don't Let Her Out, and then I'ma click on it and let her out. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen a bad um, Netflix original movie. I just don't. They they're normally pretty good. Ooh, what is that? Did I do something? Did I don't? Okay, I'm like I thought I saw somebody right there. This bed look a mess looks a mess so i had watched this movie called what was it called it's inside you or something like that what was what is this and i actually liked it it was pretty good i thought it was gonna be like a horror type movie but it wasn't but it was still good it had a really nice plot twist love a good plot twist i love the movies where they make you think you know what is gonna happen but you really don't you really ain't got no damn clue and so that movie was like that. They love they love a good spider web. Love a good spider web. Spiders, ugh. They're not my favorite thing. That's for damn sure. So I do like that this is not like a crazy huge. Girl, I know you lying. This is not a crazy, crazy. Uh-uh. Cause get the hell off of me. Not the baby. Get off of me. I'm trying to look at this. You bothering me. Uh-uh. She climbing. Somebody on my back. This little doll climbing the wall. Like I was saying. If I was really interrupted. I do like that this is not like a ridiculously huge um, haunted house. It's a really nice size. And it's really easy to get through. Which is very important to me because I'm all cool with like a, a big haunted house, but it's like five floors and stuff like that. I feel like that just becomes a little bit of overkill and I don't be want to watch. I don't be want to um, go through them when they big like that. Why are you still on me? Get the hell off of me. Ain't no way. Look at a mess. It's too many dials up in here. And they all giving possessed. Because what she got going on? What is this? Why they done did that to the teddy bear? They have houses like this. And then I don't know if this is one of them. But 
they'll have it where if you look on the inside it'll be just like done up and stuff like that look at this chucky ew chucky look creepy all the time it really don't matter he's still on my back he's still bothering me they have these little creepy looking rocking chairs out here Mm -mm, he doing too much you need to get off of me sir you need to unhand me immediately yeah so this was really a short and sweet haunted house tour i hope you guys enjoyed it it was super cute um yeah so i'm figuring out how to get him off my damn back and i will see y'all tomorrow